The one that most of our investors uh, focus on almost exclusively would be the, the growth in the distributions for the 12 month under review, where we're showing uh, an increase of 8.3% to 161.3 cents for, for the year. I think that is slightly ahead of what uh, we guided the market at the commencement of this financial year. Uh, which was at the the seven just over seven seven point two odd percent, so uh, we're very pleased to uh, you know to show slightly better growth than than what we had initially guided the market to. Uh, that takes the average for the five years uh, as well takes us to about seven point one percent. And then there's a whole long sort of list of of activities that we were busy with for the year, and I think it's fair to say that. The last 12 months was probably one of the uh, the busiest years we've we've had since we started GrowthPoint or running with GrowthPoint back in 2001, 2002. Uh, if you add up all the investment and investment activities and the capital spent, et cetera, you get to a number in the order of about 15 billion rands worth of investments that we made in the in the 12 month period. Um, we also invested a, an additional uh, 1.9 billion rand this year into into our Australian subsidiary. So Growth Point Properties Australia had a very successful year. So we, our total cost of our investment there is 5.3 billion, and the market value of that investment today is is 8.4 billion, and the performance for the year was was a total return of 25 percent, made up of an income return of 12.7 and capital growth in the share price of, of 12.3. So another very successful year for, for, uh, you know, for, for that investment in Australia. So if you, if you just look at the, the difference between our cost and the market value, the, uh, let's call it the profit that we could realize should we sell that interest of ours would be in excess of, uh, would be at around the 3 billion rand mark. So very, very uh, successful year there.